Hi everyone, um, in the repair cafe today I am working on darning some socks. So I've got two really nice pairs of socks. I have got really big holes in them. Oh dear. <laughs> um, and I'm going to be working on darning them, which is a really nice method of keeping your socks, keeping them um, nice and repairing them so that they don't have to go into that horrible pile of socks that I have no home. <laughs> so I've already started working on this today. Um, I've just been, so I'm using, I'm actually using a candle, candle holder. Um, you want to use something that will be, it's kind of rounded um, and that you can stretch your hole over. So I thought I could use this little, little wooden thing that I have, which I think I could use in a smaller mend like this one. Um, so then you, because you're going to, we're going to sew and mend over the holes or not sewing them together so that they still have strip, they still have movement. So I've just been holding this around. So I guess you could use a glass or a mug, maybe a mug would be better at like the bottom of it. I thought this shape would be good, but actually this is a really big mend because you can see all of the, um, the weave going one way has worn away. So I actually have one little hole here, but it's all worn away. So I'm gonna mend all across this. I've just got quite a long, almost tapestry needle, not quite an embroidery needle, and some embroidery thread. I'm using three um, three threads together. The embroidery thread comes with six strands together, so I'm using three. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Um, and I've just been doing a running stitch, sewing backwards and forwards. I've left this tail off here. And we're going backwards and forwards and um, doing little neat running stitches and I'll come back to you when when this is all finished. That took a while. Um, so here we have all of my running stitches that I've done back and forth. I've filled the entire space. I actually had to change thread down here and so I've just left really long ends that I'm going to weave in later on. And then I even actually went back up and filled some more in over the hole because I thought it didn't look like there was enough covering it. So we've now got four little ends from all the threads. These will get woven in on the back of this later on. And now I'm going to start doing just the same again, running stitch, going in and out of the framework that I've made. So now just ignoring the, um, the framework of the sock. Also, just to say, I have continued a little bit above and a little bit below and a little bit further out than where my weakness and my holes are. You should actually probably go further. Um, I just I was uh, amazed at how big this <laughs> weakness actually was in the sock. So I'm now going to start working up and down and uh, building in a nice little grid pattern. And I think I'm going to use this nice little pink embroidery floss to complement the colours. So here we are about halfway finished and um, you can see I actually chose a slightly, I chose a little, I found a little wool that was this nice kind of pinky colour I thought went well with the colour of the sock and the sort of green here. Um, as you can see what well, I feel like it works best along here where I did a few extra lines of the first stitching and it's a little bit too wide up here but I'll, I'm just going to keep going with it and I'll know for my next sock that actually it's best to keep doing really small lines of stitching, don't leave a lot of space in between them as you're going. So still just keeping on going, this is taking a, a bit longer than I thought it would. Um, and I will update you, this is the whole, coming up for the whole. So this is the bit that I really want to make sure is like nice and strong and um, will stay. So I'm still just keeping it, well, pulled over a wee candle to, uh, to keep it taut, but there we go. So here's a little close up of what I'm actually doing when I'm weaving these threads together. So um, I'm, not, I'm working in the opposite way as my blue thread was and I'm just using my needle to pick and I'm going over and under each of the wee stitches um, which is, I have to say, a little bit confusing. But I think I'm getting it. Anyway. Up 
and over under under right, so we get that sewn along you can see that there so here we are with the finished piece um i still have all my little ends to weave in and you can see is it i've got i basically noticed that i was some of it was actually a bit loose so i've been weaving this bit like i've just been pulling it up and down from the bottoms to bring the tension in a bit more and yeah it looks better than i thought it was going to be i think the next time i would still be doing my original the blue lines a lot closer together so that i could get closer weave but that is where or this is where the hole was and it's very much secure now so i just got to weave all these little ends in i'm going to do I'm going to bring them through to the inside and then just weave them in and out so they're all nice and tucked in and start on my second one <laughs> um which will i mean hopefully be a little bit quicker um hope everyone's having a nice week and um again just let me know if you've got any repair questions and um, that you want to ask or if you've got any ideas for workshops it'd be great to hear from you bye